کاز ہے This song we're gonna play now is from Daddy Kennedy. It's a compilation we did. This is called Drug Me. Yeah. <laughs> 
Sí. Thunder dengan Low Life in High Places, lalu Red Hot Chili Paper, Breaking the Door, dan di posisi tiga, Fate No More, A Small Victory, dan grup yang sering singgah dalam drop chart, Ugly Kid Joe, Neighbor. Baiklah pemirsa, siapakah yang menjadi jawara dalam kali ini? Ya, kita saksikan Kid Bro, Youth Gone Wild. Sepuluh pemenangnya akan diberikan kaset Janet Jason dan beberapa kaset tambahan.
Di antara beberapa bulan ini. Siap? Ini dia. Apa nama grup band asal Amerika berikut ini? Kami ulangi. Apa nama grup band asal Amerika berikut ini? Mudah kan?
no, it's no, I, I say that's a, that's a nice compliment. I mean, we never, first of all, never set out to invent anything specifically at all. We just did the kind of music that came very natural for us. Uh, secondly, if people say that, I, I don't think that we really uh, play that kind of music much more. Uh, I think there are bands that play thrash metal much more purely than we do because we in the last i'd say six eight ten years have really expanded mm -hmm. and realized that there's so many things that metallica likes to play musically that to just narrow it down and pinpoint it as one thing really wouldn't be fair <laughs> what a lot of other people choose to do but we don't like to pretend that we're still like we were when we were 18 years old because that's just kidding ourselves and kidding you so when we have been playing metallica music for 12 years now we're most of us are around 30 years old now it's just not the same as it was when we were 18 so we try and and be as honest as possible with ourselves and with you and say this is the kind of music that we feel like playing now take it or leave it but at least it's honest there's a lot of other heavy metal bands that are our age or older that try and run around and give the impression that they're still 18 years old you know what i mean i think it's very easy to see through the fakeness of that and we always try and write about the things that are on our mind at whatever specific time when we make a record <sighs> that's interesting yeah i mean I think that we have, in our earlier years, were not so comfortable with expressing a lot of things that were really going on inside us personally, so we would choose to write about things, more circumstantial stuff, which means that it would be more stuff we would see around us. We would see things in society, see things that we would choose to write about, take a subject, but it would always be something that came from outside, not from inside. On the last album, we, I think, started feeling more comfortable with letting some of the thoughts that were going on inside us out in the open. And I think that James especially was starting to feel really comfortable with expressing himself with what was really going on. So I think that process changes a lot as you grow a little more mature. And um, I think, yeah, it's a very valid statement in a way. <laughs> That the things that you uh, that the things that you write about are the things that you maybe can't express on a day to day basis. Is that fair? Well, I think a song like Blackened is the epitome of um, is the epitome of of what Metallica was going through at its most progressive stage. Uh, so a song like Blackened is is I think the ultimate Metallica trying to cram as many different things into one song as possible, and that's why you have three or four or five different timbos, three or four or five different moods in there. And uh, it's a fine song, but it's not where my head is at right now in terms of what I'd like to do. So, Which is why the new album is a lot simpler and has more groove, more feel, more attitude. It's been, the last two days have been incredible here. And we really didn't know what to expect. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun. There's uh, some very enthusiastic people here <laughs> about Metallica and uh, it, the last night's show was uh, was really cool. We got a lot of, of feedback from the audience. They knew all the songs a lot better than I thought they would. They uh, especially knew the older material much better than I thought they would. And, um... <laughs>